Good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening, teacher. Hi, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Sorry, I was muted. I don't know why. I was telling you that, um, uh, so tomorrow it's a normal class. I mean, today, I'm sorry, it, today it is a normal class and tomorrow it's only one hour. All right? Hey, teacher. All right, thank you, sir. Let me just one second here. Okay. That's, that's better. Just one second here and all right. All right, everyone, uh, we're going to start with this exercise, which is about the uh, zero conditional just to finish to talk about the zero conditional. Remember that we use the zero conditional to talk about things that most of the time are true or consider a fact. So uh, let me share the access to this exercise with you right now. So just one second, please. Good evening. Good evening, Ms. Carmen. Just one second over here. All right, there we go. Okay. So basically, uh, in this class, we're going to cover two topics. The, the first one, it's a review about the zero conditional. Number two, we're just gonna close the uh, cycle for the uh, ING uh, or the germs or germ after preposition. And number three, we're going to start with uh, a new topic, which is like time expressions, which are called a uh, verbal time clauses or something, okay? But it, it is something uh, minimum, but we're gonna have conversations, listenings, and some other practices in there, if we have enough time. Uh, today, we have the last one-on-one -on -one session, and tomorrow, we're going to complete the um, satisfaction survey from 8 to 9 p.m. And just to remind you, uh, but I know that most of you, if not everyone, that uh, today is the deadline fecha limite for the platform. Okay, so the platform closes at midnight today. After that, you're not going to be able to do anything online. But uh, I know that uh, you guys already finished the platform, so there's nothing to be worried about. Uh, so the first exercise that we're going to be working on today is is this one, 
okay? It's the zero condition. I just shared with you the access to this platform so we can start working on it. And what I'm gonna do, listen up please. So listen, this is what I'm gonna do. I, I will choose one of you, I mean, one by one, so you can tell me the answer. For example, if I choose Ms. Portillo, I'm gonna ask you to uh, tell me the answer for number one, or if I choose, let's say, Mr. Jimenez, you're gonna tell me number two, number three, somebody else, and so on. And with that, we're going to close the chapter for the uh, zero conditional, okay? So that's the plan, the plan that I have for you this evening. Let me just... So let me uh, share the uh, platform with you about, so we can do that exercise. So let me just one second over here. Here we go. Okay, so just one moment, please. All right. And... All right, so as I said before, I hope you had a, a good weekend and I hope that you have the time to spend with your family and that you, that you were in good health. All right, as you can see, I have a lot of exercises in here. I have ooh, 20 to be, to be precise. And we are 20 in this class, by the way. But right now we only have nine students. So what I'm going to do for you is give you some time and we're, we're just going to complete until number 10, but we're going to do it as a class activity. All right, because this is supposed to be a review. No vamos a hacer esta actividad aparte, sino que lo vamos a hacer ahorita en tiempo real. Es decir, que elijo algunos de ustedes y ustedes me ayudan, por favor, um, con las respuestas, if you don't mind. Teacher, teacher perdón, pero me sacó, se me perdió, se me fue la señal y, y no escuché de, de esta que está hablando de las tareas, perdón. No, no se preocupe. Eh, no, básicamente lo que, lo que les estaba diciendo es que esta actividad vamos a hacer en estos instantes. Lo que les dije de la plataforma, eh, que si no ha terminado el examen final o le hace falta algo, hasta medianoche tenemos, pero usted ya terminó. Entonces, no tienen por qué preocuparse. Esto solamente es un, un ejercicio de práctica que estamos haciendo por acá para terminar de amarrar lo que vimos la semana pasada acerca del condicional cero. Ok, prácticamente. So, without further ado, let's take a look at this one. The information uh, is already available in the chat on WhatsApp, so you can check it out. El acceso a esto ya se los, se los acaba de enviar a WhatsApp. Ahí está para que lo comenzamos a hacer. Ok. La dinámica va a ser, yo elijo uno de ustedes y me ayuda, por favor, a completar todo. Desde la primera parte del if condition with the result that we have over there, please. So just one second, please. All right, so let me choose a participant um, randomly. And I have the first one, Mr. Jimenez. You're the very lucky one today, sir. <laughs> okay, did you? Yeah, so what will be the first one in there? Okay, <clears throat> if I wake up. Okay. If I wake up late, I am late for work. You know, this is the same as the platform. It's the same example, if I remember yes, correctly. This is the same. Yeah, maybe my, I don't know, my boss just copy <laughs> the exercise from this website. <laughs> okay. So we never know, right? Let me check. All right, let's Ooh. see what happened. Uh, I'm late. It's contractado, creo yo. I think it's contractado. Only I. Solo I am, teacher. Nope. Yeah, I'm. you're right, you're right, you're right. Sorry about it. You know, that was a beginner mistake, error de principiante. All right. <laughs> there you go. All right. If okay. I wake up late, thank you, sir. 
I'm okay. late for work. Okay. Um, the next one I have in here is Anayansi. Anayansi, would you help us with number two, please? If my husband, you say, if my husband. <laughs> Uh, could, could. Okay. Yes, he. Uh, he burns the food. Correct. The, the food. <laughs> no he burns the food. Correct. He burns the food. Uh, thank you so much. The next one, number three, who's going to help us is Miss Carmen, please. Hernandez. If Julie. If Julie doesn't. All right, doesn't the wear. Wear, solo doesn't. No, I think is you got to use ah, the word. Doesn't, doesn't wear, yes. Yeah, doesn't wear. wear a, hat. a hat, she gets sunstruck. She gets sunstruck, correct. And let's check it out. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Number four, Miss Claudia Henriquez, please. What happens if children, uh-huh, if children, Miss Claudia, Zero conditional, remember. We have present tense in the if condition and the present tense in the result. A ver. Mm -hmm. Is if children uh, doesn't. Doesn't or eat. don't? Don't. Okay. Eat. Don't eat. Well, what happens? Well, well they. Um, doesn't. No, it's the verb be, uh, uh, aren't, aren't, aren't. Perfect, perfect, nice. Mm -hmm. All right, I think it should be that aren't. way. Good, good, well done. Okay, the next mm -hmm. one I have uh, is Mr. Caesar, number five. What happens to the electricity? Justo estoy intentando hacerla, pero no, no, no me da. No sé si es doesn't. No, I mean, you gotta use pos positive and positive, Mr. Caesar. It's affirmative, no negative, on number five. Ah, it's a, perdón. It's affirmative. Sería das. No, you just have das? to put the verb. Uh, let me just, let me just, mix. Re yeah, if you mix, if you mix. Mix, uh -huh. um, you get a shock. Yeah, if you mix water and electricity, you get, get a shock. Get, uh -huh. Yeah, don't do it, please. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Thank Start you. Start looking at OK, OK. <laughs> sí, ahí le estaba poniendo demasiados adornos. So, <laughs> yeah, it happens sometimes in there, sir. Good. Um, number six. Eh, let's see who's over here. All right. Let me just go full screen in here. Yeah, uh, Miss Sarai, please. Number six, if you're around. What happens to people if people? It. Uh -huh. It is if people eat. Okay. Too many sweets. They get. Correct. They get fat. All right. Aquí aplica si comemos mucho pan dulce. <laughs> if we eat too uh, many semitas, we get fat or we gain weight. Thank you. We're just going to do 10. Okay. Only 10 would be okay. Um, let's see. Miss Susana Portillo, would you help us with the next one? Seven, please. If you smoke, uh huh. You get yellow fingers. Yes, and you also you also get a uh, lung cancer. <laughs> yeah, we gotta be careful. I mean, sometimes it happens. Okay. Thank you so much. You get yellow fingers. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Number eight. I have uh, Miss Floor. Miss Floor, would you help us, please? 
Okay, teacher. Um, if children. If children play. Outside. Outside, they don't get. They don't get overweight. Yeah, that's correct. Se mantienen en forma. They don't get overweight. No, no, seas, no, no, no tienen sobrepeso. All right. No, o no gana sobrepeso. Thank you so much. Okay. All right, thank you. I have the next one for you. And it's number nine. And this one, it's going to help me. Miss Sonia Lasso, if you're able to, to hear us, please. Number nine, if you... Yes, yes. Todavía, todavía no estoy en casa, ah. en la compañía. Podría saltarme esta parte. You're still driving. That's okay. <laughs> okay. No worry Gracias. about it. Yeah, okay. Because I wasn't looking at your camera. That's why. Okay. Um, Mr. Tony, would you help us, sir? Mr. Tony, if you're around, sir. Uh, remember that this is just a review. Okay, uh, Mr. Eduardo, would you help us with number nine, sir? Mr. Eduardo, would you help us with number nine, sir? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, if you hit ice, mm -hmm. it melts. Yeah, of course, it melts. Yes, sir, oh, sorry. It melts. Okay. This is a piece of cake for everyone. Yes, sir. Number 10, Mr. Tony, help us with number 10. Thank you, uh, Mr. Lord. Right. I'm sorry, teacher. I have a dinner in the moment. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. All right. Um, Miss Karina Vieda, would you help us with the last one? Which number, teacher? Number 10, please. Number 10. Okay. If I speak to John, he gets anyone. All right. Annoyed. Yeah, he gets annoyed. Se molesta. That's what you say. Get annoyed. Cuando uno se molesta, get annoyed. All right. Good. So you see, we have the present in the condition if, and then we have the present in the result in there. And that's called the zero conditional, which is used to talk about general truth or to talk about general knowledge okay that's it now what i have for you it's a different thing so i want you to take a look at my screen and then we're going to take a different path to uh the class for today so one of my favorite uh parts when teaching uh, a class it's a listening i don't know why but i really enjoy listening in here so grab up a, a piece of paper Alistemos papel y lápiz, por favor. Grab a piece of paper or you grab a notebook and a pencil. And you're going to listen to uh, this talk about job hunting. All right. So you're going to listen to people talk about the kind of job or work they are looking for. Maybe uh, Bill is looking to, uh, to have a position or a job as a teacher or as a flight attendant, a Shannon maybe is looking to, to get a, a, a job as a lawyer, and maybe Ben is looking to become a marine biologist. We don't know yet. So basically do a column, um, actually do three columns for Bill, Shannon, and Ben. And then what you can write is A, B, and C. A is going to be flight attendant, a lawyer, and marine biologist, B is going to be teacher, bookkeeper, and model, and C is going to be some writer, doctor, and architect. Hagamos un cuadrito a, a, a grosso modo, a la ligera, verdad, de, de tres columnas. Y pongámosle A, B, y C. And Bill is number one, number two, Shannon, number three is Ben. Okay? Let me know when you're ready, please. And very quickly, I'm going to send this to you so you can also do it on your own. All right, so just one second over here. Okay, cool. All 
All right, so I'm sending the image to you right now so you can. Okay, let me know when you're ready, please. Ready? Okay, thank you so much. So let me stop sharing this. Uh, just making sure that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be able to uh, share the audio with you. So just one second, please. One moment, please. Okay, listen up, please. Page 66, exercise six, listening. Job hunting. Yes. Part A. Okay. Good. Listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that would be best for each person. 1. Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. 2. Shannon What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. Mm -hmm. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. Okay. Three, Ben. What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular nine-to-five job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. All right. That was a very interesting listening. Okay. So, um, let me ask you, Mr. Hold on, let me let me meet your microphone over here. All right, that's that's better. So, uh, who can tell me the job that the bill would? Uh, uh, I mean, a job that would be best for each person according to flight their interests. Their interests. Flight attendant. Yes, that's correct. It's a flight attendant. That's right. What about Shannon, Mr. Oscar? Camero. Bookkeeper? No, it's not bookkeeper. No, it's not bookkeeper. A doctor, okay. teacher? It's a doctor, correct. Yes. It's a doctor. Uh, and she specifically says something about that. And I was about to tell you guys. Uh, yeah, she wants to come to El Salvador. <laughs> All right. Yes. Um, because she says something in particular in there. Good. What about Ben? Model. It's a model. A model. That's right. She even took he even took pictures and stuff in there. All right. So now I'm going to play the audio again. And what you're gonna do is listen that and uh, answer the questions. So we have six questions in total. So in your notebooks. In your notebooks, if you have a notebook with you, um, hold on. All right. So get a page and 
do a, a list from one to six in your notebooks, please. From one to six over there. Okay, please. And the questions that we have are, let's see. Um, Mr. Gamero, now that you participated, can you help us read the questions for, for part B, sir? Like what kind of job? What kind of job? Okay. What kind of job is Bill not interested in? Okay. No, continue, sir, until Mr. number six. Yes. Okay. What is this attitude? forward making money mm -hmm. what do Shannon family members do for a living number four what does she want to do before she gets a job mm -hmm. number five what has been done to break into movies mm -hmm. number six what does she she no sorry what does he show the interviewer? Yeah, that's the right. Interviewer. Yeah, that's right. Yes, thank you, sir. Okay. All right. So basically, you need to look for uh, keywords. Pongamos la atención a las palabras claves over there. Keywords. And the first one is something that he is not interested in. Okay. Bill, what is his attitude about money? Is he into making a lot of money or just helping other people, maybe? Or just enjoying the trip? Number three, what about Shannon's family? What do they do for a living? And Shannon, what does she want to do before she gets a job? Ben, break into movies means like to, have, to be successful into uh, the movie industry, like to become an actor. All right. Next one. What does he show the interviewer? Is it something that he shows to that person he's speaking to? Remember that Bill wants to be a flight attendant. Shannon wants to be a doctor and Ben wants to become, uh, I, mean, uh, I mean, yeah, he's, he's a model, I think, or he wants to become a model and then bring into the movies, All right? So let me play this again. Here we go. Page 66, exercise six. Take notes, Listening. Please. Job hunting. Part A. Let's take Listen notes, to please. people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that would be best for each person. One, Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. 2. Shannon What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. 3. Ben What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular 9 to 5 job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. All right, so let me ask you, what is something that Bill is not interested in? Bill is not, in, uh, Bill is not interested in a work inside an office every day. That's right, that's right. And also to be more specific, he's not interested in the business industry, okay? I think he, he mentioned that as well. 
Okay, thank you. And what is his attitude to Ms. Carmen about making money right now at this moment? Oh, he wants to help the, the, the he wants to help people. Okay. All right. He just went to work, but uh, he is not worried about money yet, he said. No, yet. Not yet. Yeah, he's going to worry about that later on. All right. Yeah, I think he's pretty young. That's why. <laughs> okay. That might be the case over here. All right. Uh, can somebody tell me uh, what do Shannon's family do for a living? What two, uh, uh, I would say, professions are mentioned about Shannon's family? All right, remember that in this type of activity, you should be taking notes. En estas actividades hay que tomar notas. No solamente que confiar en la memoria ni en el oído. Uh -huh. Or maybe it was too fast what they said in there. Can, can anybody share the answer with me, please? They, they work in a business. Um, yeah, you're right. That's about, that's only half the answer, Miss Karina. Do, do you have the other half? <laughs> but that's good. But that's good. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, if I say, if you're a lawyer, what do you, what do you have to study to be a lawyer? If you want to. You need, to, you, you need to go to the law school, correct? Yes. So Shannon's family members, they either work up two sectors or two fields or industries. So they are either lawyers or businessmen or business people. That's it. Okay. Good. And she, she uh, let's see, what does she want to do before she gets a job? I didn't hear that. You didn't get that part. All right. Mr. Eduardo, did you get that part? I think help people, something like that. Yes, but by, by, by where? Children's. Yeah. Wow. Where specific? In the schools, hospitals, where? Hospitals, children. Correct. And and did she mention, Mr. Eduardo, in the type of countries? Uh, because she used an adjective specifically to the poor countries. No, I don't. I don't. I don't know. Third world country. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, actually, actually, she says something similar, uh, but she didn't use a third world co a country. He used developing country. Okay. Good. Yeah, you, it's the same. Okay? okay, it's the same. But uh, as everybody knows, that is just a euphemism. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. Thank you, sir. Third world country is developing country, or like in Spanish we say, en vía de desarrollo. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, thanks, thanks so much for your help, by the way. Uh, the next one, somebody else. What has been done to break into movies? He has a lot of free time, by the way, okay? Or maybe he has a, a, a very strong will, right? To, to be fit, because he said that he needs to be fit for the type of job that he wants to um, undergo. Yep, what about Ben, my friends? Somebody else that has not participated? Uh, let me ask over here, Mr. Uh, Jimenez, what has Ben done to break into movies? Break into movies is, uh, uh, I would say, to be successful into movies or to have an opportunity in the movie industry, in there, okay? Llegar al estrellato, all right? I remember. You don't remember over there. Uh -huh. Did you take notes, sir? <laughs> Just asking over oh, here. Yes. All right, more or less over there. So, so, okay, good. Uh, does anybody remember what happened in there? No idea. He yes, is going to the gym and also uh -huh. taking acting lessons to be more confident with the public. That, that's correct. Yeah, when, when the time comes and then he's surrounded by cameras and the directors and the cast and everything, he's not gonna panic. <laughs> All right. Yes, that's right. And also he's working on his body uh, shape. Good. And of course, Mr. Eduardo, you got the last part. So what is something that he shows 
I would say his friend. Uh, well, I don't know who's speaking in there. Yeah, something right that he can hold. He shows to the the pictures. That is, he shows to the different agents of the war of the model modeling. Acting. Right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah, but the thing is that he's been doing some modeling, um, or he's been uh, taking some pictures because he wants to first uh, be a model. And at the same time, he's uh, taking some acting lessons in there and trying to remain in shape, okay? Trying to remain in, in shape over there. So that's why. Uh, as a recap, um, let me just give you a recap over here, all right? Bill is not interested in making money yet. He wants to be a flight attendant. Shannon does not want to work in the same business as his family members, which 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 are either law or business, okay? Um, Shannon wants to become a doctor, but first of all, she, she wants to help other people, specifically children in a poor uh, developing country. But uh, in order for her to do that, she needs to get into the medical school, all right? And then the other uh, guy, Ben, uh, he's been going to the gym. He's in shape and he needs to be fit, very fit. And um, he's been taking pictures so that he can go to agencies so he can be uh, casted uh, to become a, a, a future actor. And for that, he's been, he's been taking uh, acting lessons so he can be more confident or to know how to act in front of cameras, all right? And at the end, uh, Bill is showing uh, pictures of him modeling to the uh, interviewer, that's it. And that's the listening that we just heard right now, my friends, okay? So with this, we basically finished uh, the topics about the germs and stuff like that. But before we continue, I want you to take a look at this one, please. Personality traits personality traits, okay? And it says, which of these adjectives are positive and which are negative, all right? And we have the, the words over here, creative, critical, disorganized, efficient, forgetful, generous, hardworking, impatient, level-headed, moody, punctual, reliable, short temper, and strict. Some of these personality traits, rasgo de la personalidad, that's what we're seeing over there, are always negative. Some others are always positive. And sometimes a couple of these uh, words or personality traits can be either one, either positive or negative, depending on the situation. So in your notebooks, uh, what you can do is write the words, or you can just write a number, creative is number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you have 14 words over there, okay? So try to do a list from one to uh, seven, and then from uh, eight to 14, and we're gonna write this if it's positive or negative. But let me ask you, may I have a volunteer, please, that can help us do from one to seven, please, all right? And don't worry about it if you don't get everything right. Okay. Okay. Pretty, pretty well. Okay. okay. Uh, you have, you have to say it, sir. Yeah, okay. Say okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry about it. Mr. Gamero, go ahead, please. Gamero, go ahead. Okay. And uh, critical, positive. Continue. Disorganized, Continue. negative. Okay. F is time. It's positive. Forgetful, negative. Generous, positive. Hardworking, positive. Impatient, negative. Yes. Uh, what's the mean level heavy? Level headed means that you think before acting. That you think before acting. And that, and uh, that, that, that you can control your emotions. 
but in Spanish that would be sensato. What? what? Sensato. Sensato. No, I'm positive. Moody is negative. Yes, of course. Punctual. Positive. Readable. Yes. What's the meaning? Reliable it means, Reliable means that I can trust you. That I can trust What? Mute your microphone so I can explain. Mute your microphone so I can explain. Right, thank you so much because I was, I was listening to my voice and that's very weird. Reliable means, for example, imagine that I tell you, Mr. Gamero, hey, go to the bank and take this deposit, all right? And, and put it in my bank account and I'm gonna give you $100. Uh, I'm gonna give it to you because you're a reliable person, someone that I can trust because I know that you're not gonna steal the money, okay? Or for example, if I tell you a secret and then you tell me, all right, you can count on me. You are a reliable person, okay? I can trust you, trustworthy. Do you get it? Yes. It's right, not possible. Continue, please. Yes. Short temper is negative. Strict is positive. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I appreciate your help, sir. Let me just mute uh, everybody's microphones in here. Does anybody else have a different opinion? Maybe a uh, personality trait is positive when we just marked it as negative or vice versa. Do you have another opinion, everyone? What would be the, the difference between moody and short temper? Moody and short temper. It's a negative adjective for yes. me. Yes, both are negative. You're right. Moody and short temper are very negative. All right. Very, very negative adjectives in there. All right. But what's the difference between moody and short temper? Let me explain it to you. Imagine that you're having a very bad day and uh, you, one of your coworkers is talking to you about something and uh, your coworker is trying to help you. But uh, he or she tells you something and then you lose your temper just like this, right? You, because you're a short temper. Or when you go home, your husband or your wife or maybe one of your children do something uh, bad uh, and you're gonna get mad very quickly, right? Short, so short temper means literally in Spanish, someone who loses their temper very quickly. Mecha corta, short temper, okay? Literally speaking, that's what we have, all right? Moody, moody means temperamental. Sometimes you're happy, sometimes you're angry, sometimes you're, uh, I don't know, anxious, impatient, you, don't, you never know, okay? Moody. Temperamental, all right? And of course we have the other ones. Let me mention to you the, the negative, negative ones. Les menciono los negativos, all right? Based on what I think. Disorganized, forgetful. Forgetful is negative, okay? Why? Because you forget things, appointments, important, important events, olvidadizo, forgetful, okay? Uh, impatient is also negative. Um, moody and short temper, all right? And the positive ones are creative. Uh, I would say critical because if you're some, somebody critical, uh, you want to find a solution to problems, okay? But sometimes it could also be negative. I mean, if you're too, uh, let's see, critical on tense, you, you don't see the, the, uh, the positive side, okay? And you just look at the wrong side. So, ser crítico a veces el extremo es, es el problema. 
okay? So efficient is positive and generous and hardworking are positive. Trabajador, ¿verdad? Eh, buen trabajador is hardworking. Hacendoso, I think is the word. Level-headed, sensato. Level-headed, okay? Punctual, reliable. Those are positive. Reliable is trustworthy or confiable. Okay? And it's strict. Yeah, I think that's a positive, um, like discipline. But sometimes if you're too, too strict, uh, uh, that's a problem. Okay? You say what I'm saying over here? All right. Good. Uh, let me stop sharing this screen over there. All right? It's about to rain. <laughs> It's about to rain. I hope we don't have any problems today. Uh, let me just see what's, what's next over here. Okay, good. Um, the next activity I have it here ready for you, my friends. Good, all right. I'm sorry about the colors over here. If you're not able to, to, to see this properly, but I'm going to do my best to show it to you. Okay, so here we go. With this, we start officially the last topic of this module. With this, we finish the last topic of this module, which has to do with some uh, time clauses or, or time expressions. And uh, in order for us to, to cover that topic, let's talk about holidays and festivals. By the way, in the United States, President Biden just uh, approved a new holiday. I don't know if you just if you have watched the news, but in the United States, they approved uh, a new holiday related to the end of the slavery back in the 1800s. All right. He just ratified that it's going to be celebrated on June the 19th every single year. And it's going to be a day off. It's a federal law already. OK, good. So that being said, let's talk about the holidays and festivals. We have the Chinese New Year, Australia Day, Children's Day, and the Day of the Dead. I'm gonna ask um, volunteers that can help us read each one of them. Chinese New Year, Australia Day, Children's Day, and Day of the Dead. Can I have one volunteer please that can help us, can help us with the first one, with the Chinese um, holiday, please. Go ahead, please. Thank you, Mr. Gamero, you're gonna be the second one for the Australia. And Miss Claudia, of course, you gotta be the November the second day of the death <laughs> because of <Okay>. Mexico. <laughs> Good. Go ahead, okay. Miss Flor. And Miss Karina, you're gonna be the third one. Thank you. China's New Year. Okay. January or February, China's people celebrate the Lunar New Year with fireworks and light dances. Thank you so much. And every single year they choose an animal, okay? They have an animal. I don't know the animal that they uh, base their uh, Chinese year. I don't know, I don't know. I don't remember. So thank you so much. Australia Day, Mr. Gamero, go ahead, please. Okay, uh, Australia Day, January, 26. Australians put on patriotic show to celebrate their national day. Okay, and that is on January the 26th. Thank you. Uh, Miss Karina, Children's Day, May the 5th. Children's Day, May 5th. Japanese families put, put up colored streamer shaped like fish in honor of their children. Hey, that, that's very interesting, by the way. Okay. So they try to be, be a, a, you know, a child, at least for one single day. Good. Thank you so much. So Miss Carmen, the next one. I'm sorry, uh, Miss Claudia. All right. I just had you in front of the, the computer over here. Okay. Day okay. of the deal. Mm -hmm. uh, November, November 2. Right. Mexican make a playful uh, skeleton, uh -huh. sculptures and back pan de muerto, uh -huh. bread of the dead, 
Yes, I think you you know what we're talking about in there, right? <laughs> have you have you eaten pan de muerto, Miss Claudia? Yes, many times, it. many times, sí. right? Is it good? Good. Yeah, it's delicious. So I can see that. Delicious. Nice. Uh, con chocolate. With chocolate, nice. All right. Yes, that's interesting. All right. Okay. Is it the same? Uh, is it the same uh, uh, bread that they put in the movie Coco? No. Yes. Already, yes. Okay. It's the same yes. model. Okay. Gran patrocinio. Esto ha sido patrocinado por. All right. <laughs> it's being sponsored by. Si digo el nombre, no bajan. Pixar. <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> Ahora sí fue completo. ¿eh? <laughs> ahora sí, ahora sí está el patrocinio completo. Ahora sí lo puedo monetizar el video. <laughs> Híjole. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. Seríamos tan mala suerte. Don't, don't worry about it. Hey, I heard that the new movie that they have, it's good. All right? I heard that the new animated movie they have is good about nombre de un niño que es especie, es niño, no sé, algo así. Something like that. All right? Good. Um, let's continue. It's Luca. Yes, sir. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, by the way, but I knew it. <laughs> but that's okay, Mr. Jimenez. All right. Uh, have you heard this word before? I escuchado esta, esta palabra, collocations, before. Have you heard that word before? Yes? No? Maybe? Okay. A collocation is a phrase, or I would say it's two words that are 99% together. All right? Collocation is uh, a group of words that are, are always together. For example, if you say eat, you can say eat candy, eat pan de muerto, with chocolate, right? Eat pozole. I'm talking about the Mexican thing, right, Miss Claudia? And yes. uh, you can eat uh, pupusas, okay? Uh, you can eat rice cakes. That's weird, but I think this is in Japan. But you can eat juice because juice is a beverage. You have to say drink juice or the, yeah, drink juice. Okay. So a collocation it's a verb with a phrase that are always together. Eso es una colocación. Así se llama eso. Las posibles eh, eh, variantes que puede tener una frase y con las palabras que se puede conjugar, eso es una collocation. For example, uh, we have the other one in there. Number two, we have give, we have presents, relatives, and candy. My question is, which one is the one that does not belong? ¿Cuál es la que no casa ahí? De, de, de la palabra give with those phrases in there. Relatives. Relatives, because those relatives. are your family members, correct. No son los relativos, Mr. Jimenez, <laughs> que los números, all right? It's mm -hmm. no numbers. It's your extended family. Okay, su familiares, extended family. All right, correct. Because we say give presents, give candy. No, number three, go to decorations, a wedding, or, or, or a party. Which one is the one that does not belong or does not match? Decorations. Correct, correct. You have to say do decorations. All right, thank you. Number four, have have a party, have a beach, or have a meal? Which is the one that does not belong? A beach. Have a beach. Correct, correct. Yeah, we gotta be careful with that word, by the way, all right? And number five, we, we have play games, play money, and pay music. Bueno, tal vez con el Bitcoin estamos jugando un poquito con el dinero, but <laughs> that's a whole different story. I'm not an expert, okay? And that is just a joke, okay? Um, uh -huh. Play game, money. Play, play, money. play money, that's right. But when you gamble and you go to the uh, uh, to the casino, you go to Las Vegas, Vegas, yes, I mean, you play with the money. <laughs> but that's something else, all right? Good. Uh, next one, send cards, six, send cards, send flowers, or send a party. Send a party. That's right. Exactly. We don't say, hey, we're going to send you a party. No, we go to a party. No, le enviamos la fiesta. No, we go to the party over there. Good. Uh, next, do we say visit relatives, visit food, or visit friends? 
Uh -huh. Ooh, yeah, you're right. We don't visit the food. We, the food visit us. That's, okay, next one. Watch. Watch a birthday, watch a parade, and or watch fireworks. Las luces campero, otro patrocinio ahí. All right. <laughs> Another sponsorship over there. All right. Por ser último día, nos están patrocinando. <laughs> We're being spam. Perdón, no es el último día. Almost the last one. All right. Of the last two hours, we can say. Good. Uh, yeah, we can say parade. Estos son los de famosos desfile del 15 de septiembre. Es a parade. All right. Parade. Good. Uh, the next one. Uh, nine. Wear new clothes. Wear a celebration, a celebration, or wear traditional clothes. Which is the one that does not belong, Mr. Jimenez? Yes. A celebration. Yes, you're right. You don't wear a celebration. You wear a custom, verdad? Usted se pone un disfraz que es custom. Okay. Good. Thank you. Let's continue with here. Perspective special days. All right. This is going to be a listening special days perspectives, punto de vistas, perspectivas. Listen to these comments about special days of the year, match them to the correct pictures. We have A, B, and C. And what you have to do is to put A, B, or C next to the picture. All right? Let me stop sharing this. Let me just double check if I'm going, if I'm sharing the, the audio correctly. Give me just two seconds, please, to uh, play this correctly. One second. Um, okay, here we go. Listen up. Unit eight. Let's celebrate. Page 51, exercise three, perspectives. Special days. Part A. Listen to these comments about special days of the year. Match them to the correct pictures. My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. It's a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. My whole family gets together at our house. I always cook a large turkey. February 14th is the day when people give cards and presents to the ones they love. I'm really looking forward to Valentine's Day. I already have a gift for my boyfriend. New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. We usually have a big party. We stay up all night and then go out for breakfast in the morning. Okay. I'm going to choose the uh, participants who are going to help us read this. All right. Uh, Mr. Cesar, you're going to help us read the Thanksgiving uh, celebration over there. Uh, Mr. No, let's see. Miss Susana Hernandez. You're going to help us with number two, which is Valentine's Day over there. And Mr. Edwin, you're going to help us with the last one, which is uh, New Year's Eve. Okay. Mr. Cesar, number one. Number two, Miss, Miss uh, Susana. And the last one, Mr. Uh, Edwin. Go ahead, please, Mr. Cesar. Just help us read and tell us the answer. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Eh, lo leo. Yes, sir. Please. Number one. My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. It's a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. My whole family gets together at our house. I always cook a large turkey. Number two. Mm -hmm. February 14 is the day when people give cards and presents to the ones they love. I am really looking forward to Valentine's Day. I really have a gift for my friend. Okay. Actually, she said boyfriend. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's written down friend, but she said boyfriend in there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nice. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Edwin, next, next one, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. New Year's. If it's a night when I have fun with my friend, we usually have a big party. We stay up all night and then go out for breakfast in the morning. Okay. Se desvela en el desayuno a pasarla, a que le pase. 
<laughs> Don't do it, please. Don't do that. All right. So uh, vocab vocabulary, my friends, harvest. Harvest means cosecha or cosechar. Okay, good. And that's what they're trying to celebrate in Thanksgiving. That's what they're trying to celebrate on this uh, special holiday. And uh, I'm, look, I'm really looking forward to, significa estoy ansioso de. I'm looking forward to. Okay, in the Valentine's Day. I'm really looking forward to Valentine's Day. ¿Verdad? No me espero como ansias de que se llegue el día. All right? And the other one for my boyfriend, for my uh, boyfriend, he says over there, right? Or BF. We don't know. And the other one is stay up all night. Stay up. Stay up means desvelarse. Así se dice desvelarse. Like, for example, Mr. Edwin Sevillano, you stay up late at work. Okay? You don't go to sleep. But I can see that today you are at home. All right? I can see that. Nice. Um, nice. Any questions over here, my friends? Let me do something. Let me play this so you can pay attention to the uh, to the pronunciation. Voy a reproducir esto una vez más, solo para que pongamos la atención a la, to the pronunciation and the intonation. More. Unit 8. Go ahead, please. Let's celebrate. Page 51, exercise 3. Perspectives. Special days. Part A. Listen to these comments about special days of the year. Match them to the correct pictures. My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. It's a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. My whole family gets together at our house. I always cook a large turkey. February 14th is the day when people give cards and presents to the ones they love. I'm really looking forward to Valentine's Day. I already have a gift for my boyfriend. New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. We usually have a big party. We stay up all night and then go out for breakfast in the morning. Okay, nice. So this is the first grammar that we're going to cover today. And what you have in there is a very fancy name. Es un nombre un poquito rebuscado para esta gramática. And the name is relative clauses of time. And basically what we're saying is if you store an idea, you can uh, connect it with when, with the time. And that's why this is, this is called relative Clauses of time because you're talking about the time when something happens, which is relative, right? Which is relative. Okay. For example, we have Thanksgiving, it's a day, but what? When people or when we celebrate the harvest. For the next one, February 14th is the day, the day what? When people give courts to the ones they love, okay? A New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. If you go back to this uh, reading, you're gonna be able to see it. You see, my February holiday is Thanksgiving. It's a day or Thanksgiving is a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. The next one. February 14 is the day when people give cards and presents to the ones they love. Next one and last one. New Year's Eve is the night when I have fun with my friends. So basically, what I'm trying to tell you is, if you want to connect an idea, like when something is done or happens, you can start with this structure and just saying like that. For example, you can say, uh, September uh, 15th in El Salvador is the day when we celebrate the Independence Day. Independence Day, correct. That's correct. And we can also say um, May the 10th is the day when we Salvadorians celebrate the Mother's Day. Y un patrocinio para mañana, ¿verdad? Esto está patrocinado, ya vamos a decir otro patrocinio. And tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, June the 22nd, is the day when... Uh -huh. All 
teacher <laughs> celebrate with their student. That's correct. That's correct. You got it. All right. That's being sponsored by Magisterio. <laughs> In Star Magisterial over there. Yeah, I don't have a plaza, by the way. So we don't really celebrate that way. And I got to work tomorrow, you know, I got to work tomorrow in the morning. Good. And good. It says here, how much do you know about these times? Complete the sentence in column A with information from column B. Then compare with a partner. All right. Take a look at this. For example, I can tell you under this one. Uh, me voy a saltar a la parte B solamente para hacer un patrocinio traído a ustedes por la alcaldía de Santa Tecla. All right. Okay. Um, we have winter is the season when? Let's see, Mr. Eduardo, would you help us? All right. Where? <laughs> winter is the season uh, part B. Okay. In El Sabo, remember, winter is the season when the Santa the Tecla. <laughs> Santa Tecla turns into a surf city. Yes, sir. That's a good example. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Sadly, but it's, it's true. It's true. Nice. It's true. Okay. Yes. Uh, and you, you need you need to have boats to navigate the streets, all right? Unfortunately, boy, unfortunately. Good. Um, so we're gonna complete part A, which is this one. Uh, match the uh, column, this one. Uh, I would say these holidays and, and, and celebrations with the part B. And you're gonna complete these, uh, Sentences. For example, winter is the season when. Birthdays are days when. Spring is the time of year. We don't have a spring over here, but maybe in the United States. Oh, yeah, we can say spring because the spring here is like Semana Santa, right? Like the Holy Week or something like that. Mother's Day is that day or Father's Day. July and August are the months. A, a wedding anniversary is a time. And you can add two more. I'm gonna ask you as a big favor to think of two more holidays or celebrations that we have here in El Salvador, please. All right, good. And uh, before I send you to practice, let's see what's next over here. All right, yes. My antes de que los mande a practicar a un break room, vamos a hacer lo de la conversación. Okay, para que si tengamos dos cosas que practicar. La cuestión de matching, and then the conversation order. So you can take advantage of the time, okay? Good. So let's put aside the matching port uh, for a second. Pongamos esto a un lado, por un momento. Y luego vamos a ver eh, lo de la conversación por acá, all right? So conversation wedding day. It says, listen in practice. You have Jill and Emiko, or Emiko, I don't know, right? I don't know how to pronounce this, okay? I'm sorry about that. Um, and uh, they're talking about wedding day, maybe ma making plans. So we don't know who's gonna get married, if it's going to be Amico or that Jill, or maybe this is Jill and this is Amico. You never know these days, okay? Um, so I'm gonna play this and then you follow along, please. Okay, here we go. Uh, Page 53, exercise eight, yep. conversation. Okay, good. Wedding day, part A, listen and practice. Here we go. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures are from right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the meal, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes, and the guests give money to the bride and groom. Okay, that's, that's different. I don't want to say weird, but that's uh, something different in there. Okay, uh, I want you to pay attention to the following because this is the introduction to the grammar that we're going to be covering today. 
les, les comenté hace un momento que la gramática tiene nombres así, ¿verdad? Bien rebuscados de esta noche. Y se fijan esto que dice adverbial clauses of time. And the one we just covered before y lo que estudiamos anteriormente decían relative clauses of time. ¿Ok? But basically those are just time expressions. That's it. All right. So we have this conversation and let's go over some vocabulary. Um, and let's take a look over here. All right. You have the bride, you have the groom in there. Okay. El novio y la novia over here. Okay. That's the 10. Good. Uh, what about shrine? Somebody knows what shrine means? Any idea? It, it's like a, it's like a temple, okay? It's, it's like a temple. Basically, it's a temple, and I think that is for uh, Buddhism, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? Can somebody confirm that with us? Ese sería el templo eh, Buda. Yes, the shrine. Yep. Yeah, we can say that. Okay. Yeah, I think it's is 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 from the Buddhism, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for for that right now. Yeah, I think I think so. It says uh, a case of chest for books, a sacred holy, uh, sister. It's not really specified. It's just a sacred place, I guess. Um, okay, un templo sagrado, but it doesn't specify if it is for Buddhism. Okay, good, nice. Uh, so pay attention to the conversation and um, listen to part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and the groom give each guest, verdad? Uh, a bride and the groom. Bright and groom. ¿Cuál sería la palabra para novio y cuál sería la palabra para novia en este contexto? Uh -huh. Bright is the room and the room, the, the, the man. All right, so bright is the woman, correct? Yes, is the bride. And the groom is the gentleman, right? Yes. So this is the groom and this is the bride, all right? So you don't have to get confused in there, okay? Thank you. So listen to the rest of the conversation. Why did the bride and the groom each, give each guest? O sea, que ahí no le dan regalo de sobre a uno, sino que uno da regalo de sobre. <laughs> Thanks for coming, all right? Thanks for coming, okay? A free ticket, things like that, all right? A gift card, the famous gift card, right? Otro patrocinio por ahí. <laughs> Another sponsorship, but I won't say the name this time. Uh, okay, listen again, please, if you don't mind. Thank you. Page 53, exercise eight, part B. Take notes, please. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan. So we gave each guest a box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. Okay. Did you get it? She has an accent. That was a little bit difficult to guess. Okay. Let me play it again for you. All right. Let me play it again. It's okay. Page 53, exercise Take 8, notes. part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan. So we gave each guest a box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. You got it? She mentioned that something that you put to coffee is a symbol of happiness. You're gonna tell me cream maybe? <laughs> 
milk, maybe. <laughs> you have many options in there, right? Or, or something to make it sweet. What is it? Any idea? Sugar. Yes, correct. Yeah, sugar is a symbol of happiness. So, so that's why they, they give a box filled with sweets. Okay, so listen up, please, everyone. So what you're gonna do are basically two things. You're gonna complete this part, all right? Matching column A with column B, and you're gonna complete this part too. So I would say that this is 1.1, 1 .1, all right? This is exercise 1.1, 1 .1, okay? And then once you finish the matching part, um, you're gonna be practicing the conversation over there. Okay, clear? Good, nice. Cause I see that some of you are, are like falling asleep already. So you need to practice. All right, so let me just one second. Let me share the screen over here. So you may start working already. And there you go. I'm making the, the breaker rooms right now for you. And here we go. Um, hold on, please. I'm checking something over here. All right, join the rooms, please. I'll be sending this to you right now. Mira lo que te estoy compartiendo. Y si yes, me I look. paso para acá, siguen mirando. Yes, sir, we can see it. Yes, no. Yeah, we, we can see it. Ajá. We can see it, ya thank no. you. Imagina. Es que estoy desde la web, no sé por qué no me, esta computadora es loca. I mean, but, but I can see it, Miss, Miss, uh, I do see it. Sí, y ahora sí. Sí se mira, sí se mira. Ah, usted sí se, sí se mira. mira. Sí, sí se mira. Vaya. Yo solo pude hacer esa captura de pantalla. Sí, ahí, ahí lo que puede hacer, Pero, si, no, si no hay mucha molestia, eh, me estará ahí. Dele en ¿sí? la parte superior derecha, donde está como un símbolo de lupita, para hacerlo más grande. Ah, sí, como ah, no. Sí. Ahí, por favor. Ahí solo, dele un poquito más. Ahí. Ahí, ahí digamos, está bien. Ahí está bien. Vamos bien. Ahí. La like edad. Ahí. Ya, yeah, thank Va. you. Okay. Yes. Ok. Tenemos Bye. que ir emparejando, Entonces, teacher. Yes, sir. Correct. New Year's Eve is a night when. Tratenlo de el leer. El año nuevo. Hola. 
perdón, trátenlo de leer todo eh, y las opciones A y las B y después poquito a poco van a ir descubriendo. Ah, ok. Ya, a ver. New Year's Eve is a night when eh, North America celebrates Thanksgiving. Giving. No. No, 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 no. <coughs> April no, 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 Yes, Hi, can teacher. I, hello, can I help you with something? Estamos resolviendo una cada uno. Okay, that's Lo good. Tratamos, sí. That's good, that's good. Estamos yes. intentando, teacher. Yeah, that, that's the attitude, Mr. Luis. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Pero ya casi la última, no se preocupe, ya se va a librar de mí. <laughs> no, no. Okay. No molesto. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. April Fool's Day is April the first. All right, and that is when people when people uh, play jokes or pranks on their friends. El día de los santos inocentes. People sometimes play tricks on friends. Correct. That's the one. That's the one. Yes. Labor Day is uh, here in El Salvador. Is May the first. Labor Day here in El Salvador is May the 1st. Es el día del trabajo. Mm -hmm. Es el día del trabajo over here. Correct. And when they honor workers. That's right. Yes. yes. Autumn, yeah. autumn is, 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 is the same as uh, fall. It's when, when, the, when the, the leaves, leaves of the trees fall. Teacher, in this case, autumn is the season when North Americans celebrate Thanksgiving too, right? That is correct. That's correct. It's, it's in autumn because it's after after Thanksgiving, the win, uh, winter begins, basically. Because because remember that, that Thanksgiving is celebrated on the, I think it's the third Thursday of November. The third Thursday of November. Okay, and that's not considered uh, winter yet. Winter starts in December. Okay. Okay, I'm finished, guys. All right. The first. All right. Okay. Did you finish, Luis? No, no, todavía estoy. Okay. Por, estoy contando. Oh, yo, Luis. Mande, dele, dele. First, New Year's Eve is a night when uh -huh. yo dejé que era el literal C. ¿De right. cuál, perdón? Sí. La número uno. New Year's, New Year's Eve, Eve is a night when. Yes. It's a night when. Is C. People have a party with family and friends. Right, and they, and they, uh -huh. they dance. They coincide. Okay. They dance cumbias okay. over Number here. Number two, April. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, number two, April Fool's Day is a uh, day when people sometimes play tricks on friends. Right, let us, yes. let us, uh, yes. that's right, that's right, yes. Good. Number three, summer. Aquí es spring is the same as summer. Actually, we don't have a spring. <laughs> Uh, Mother's Day is a day when people spend a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to, to, to celebrate our mothers when we can do it some other day. <laughs> I mean, that's my opinion. All right. <clears throat> Let's take an example. July and August are month are the months. Yeah, we don't do anything. Oh, yeah, but uh, 
Ah, Semana Santa. August, ano? no, in August, August, yeah. Divino Salvador del Mundo. Santa Ana, Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Huh? Yes. yes, correct. July yes. is the month when Santa when Necos. Santa, Santa Ana celebrate, uh -huh. celebrate their, their festivities. Party. Their festivities. Uh -huh. Correct. And in August is when people in San Salvador celebrate their festivities. Okay. Hang okay. <laughs> a wedding anniversary is a time you. The one to remember. I <laughs> 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 just kidding, Irina. All right. Some, some okay. people forget. Some people forget. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> or it's, it's a time when people don't know what to buy or what to do. All right. It happens. It happens. Okay. Good, good. The Celebrate next one. Uh, a special yeah. day. Yeah, it's a special, yeah. When people eat something special, you might say. All right. That conversation is another, the next one, Mr. Uh, Eduardo. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Can we start? Who's going to start? No falla, no falla esa. Sí, es como la oración del puro. Como la oración del puro. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Nos quedamos aquí, teacher, que no entendimos si esto había que relacionar las entre ellas. No, ahí usted va a crear. No, ahí usted va a crear. Por ejemplo, va a decir, la broma, permítame, voy a ponerlo en silencio, porque voz de ardilla, no quiero escuchar mi voz. Eh... Va a aplicar cuestiones de la vida real. Por ejemplo, yo hacía la broma. El invierno es la época del año cuando en El Salvador se desbordan los ríos, por ejemplo. ¿Ok? Eh, los cumpleaños son días cuando la gente eh, demasiado se va de copas. <laughs> Just to give you some example. ¿Ok? But you do better examples over there. Spring. We don't have a spring in there. No hay primavera. Pero fíjese que spring... En Estados Unidos es en marzo, si no me equivoco, o abril, y es exactamente o, o, o cerca de Semana Santa. O sea, cuando ellos celebran Spring y celebran el domingo de Pascua, aquí celebramos el domingo de, de Resurrección. Ok, and then you may continue with the other ones. En July, estábamos pensando en los otros grupos, las fiestas julias, en en August, aquí en San Salvador. Y de lo demás usted lo puede hacer. Mother's Day. Entonces usted va a poner. Eh, winter is the season when it rains a lot and streets get flooded. Es, es la época del año cuando llueve demasiado y las calles se inundan. Here in El Salvador. O sea que tiene que ocupar la estructura de cuando. El invierno es la época cuando, when, and then you continue. Ok. Like that. Nice. Ajá, ¿quién se anima? Who says me? Let's try to do it, please. Let's try to do it. Mr. Jimenez. You're muted, sir. Your microphone is muted. No encontraba. El... <laughs> Se le escondieron. <laughs> vale, aquí estaba arriba. There you go. Okay, uh, okay. Winter is the season of the celebrate the uh, end of the, the year. Yeah, you can say that, correct. Yes. Yes, you can say that. Anything else out of that one? Apply to El Salvador?
uh, I think of something. Maybe winter is the season when a lot of trees fall because of the rain. Is it is the the season when the farmers uh, cultivate their lands? Yes, here in El Salvador, when farmers cultivate their lands. Sí o no? Aquí, sí. When, yes, cuando cultivan la, la, la tierra. All right? Good. So that's what you need to think of. All right? Good. Everyone, one by one, please. Give, give one example for each one of you, please. Next example. Yes, next example, please. Miss Elizabeth, Miss Anayansi, Mr. Uh, Oscar. Think of that one, please. Okay, it's time. Yes, me on. Yo no conozco qué es eso. No, ni yo. No sabemos, hay que poner para el arrepentimiento. No. Hello, what are you talking oh, about? What are you talking oh, about? Yeah. yeah, hello. Hello, teacher. Yeah, what are you talking about? Vamos por a wedding anniversary. A time oh, <laughs> for, I, a for, for, for reg okay regret <laughs> for regret <laughs> it's a time for regret. regret. No, es tiempo para <laughs> celebrate. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> it's a time for makeup para reconciliación. <laughs> for makeup. <laughs> it's a reflection time. <laughs> Ajá, esa reflection. Eso vamos a poner. Esa reflection, reflection time. Reflection time, yes. <laughs> right. Yes. Para hacer un recuento de daños. <laughs> sí, exacto. Para eso es. <laughs> nice. All right. Ahí ya terminamos. Hoy vamos a practicar. I see that. Otra. I see that. Wow, right. por la, la number yeah. six. The a conversation, six. a conversation. Ah, por eso, vamos a practicar la, la conversación, pero esta ya la terminamos. Yeah, you finish already. Hasta ahí van. Good. All right. Just one thing over here. I, I told you that in the United States, spring, uh, they celebrate, um, how do you say this, uh, Easter. Right, they celebrate Easter, el, el Pascua, in, in the United States. It's the time when they celebrate Easter. And by hitting El Salvador, uh, it's the time when we celebrate the Holy Week, Semana Santa, hitting El Salvador. Okay. Great. Nice. Okay. Nosotros le pusimos colorful. Yeah, it's 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 the time when it's very colorful. Correct. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so we have the conversation over here. So who wants to start? ¿Quién inicia, gente? Uh -huh. um, just me. Va, yeah. démosle. Okay, okay. Okay, um, es que casi no veo la letra. Hoy sí. Um, your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those, those pictures are from right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. Shrine, shrine, shrine. Okay, at a shrine. When people get married in Japan, <laughs> they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine? Shrine, yes. Shrine. That interesting, where there are a lot of people, people there. Uh -huh. Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony, but afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. Yes. So what are the reception like in Japan? There's a big diner and after the meal, the guests give a speeches or sing song. Mm -hmm. It's on live phone. It's really, it really is. And then before the guests leave, the bride and groom, groom give them presents. They get they get get presents. Yes, and the guests give mo money to the bride and groom. Okay, good. Okay. Of course, uh, dinero de sobre over there. <laughs> 
Nice. All right, so we say dinner, Miss Sonia, and then the rest okay, is perfect. Yeah. Diner. <laughs> but but there, there is a difference, all right? Pero ya puedo decir money. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. But there is a difference over there. Diner, <laughs> diner is a small restaurant. So, son los, uh -huh. los, los comedores, diner. Uh -huh. Okay? And dinner, okay. dinner is cena, right? The meal. Entonces es diner. No, no, dinner is dinner. la cena. Pero, okay. pero, but if you go to a to a small cafeteria to have lunch, that's called uh, a dine a diner. O sea, okay. el local es un diner, mm -hmm. es un comedor, diner. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And dinner is meal. Right. Okay. Nice. All right, Mr. Edwin, your term, sir. But uh, teacher, I, a, excuse me. Um, and bueno, yeah, I, I have it there. I have it there. Yeah. What is it? And there is a meal the guest like speeches. Ah, speeches. 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 Ah, okay. it's, um, how do you say this? Uh, discurso. Okay. Speeches. Voy con usted, buen comienzo. All right, but uh, I have to go. I mean, you have to share the screen, all right? Okay. Because okay. I need to uh, check the other room over here. Okay. Right. Okay. Yo okay. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about it. Okay. Go to ceremony, but afterward we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are reception like in Japan? There is a big dinner, and after the meal, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It's sound like home. It really, really is. And then before the guests leaving, the bride and groom give them present. The guests just present. Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Peter. Yes, sir. Teacher, ya terminamos la vez. Ajá, what happened? It, it, it speeches or sing song. No, speeches is the discursos. No, it's speeches or to talk. Discursos, to talk. De canciones o algo así. No, 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 no. It's like like uh, cuando la Una gente plática. Se, cuando la gente se gradúa dan un discurso, ¿okay? Uh -huh. Cuando hay una ceremonia, por ejemplo, el traspaso de los diputados, dan un discurso. Uh -huh. Ese es un discurso. All right. Speeches. 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 Uh -huh. Speech. Uh -huh. uh, no, solo es sing song. ¿Qué dice ahí? Discursos o canciones. Ah, no, 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 no. Lo que dicen es que. No, sí, tiene <ríe> razón. Dan un, dan un discurso o también se ponen a cantar. O sea, ah. hacen una cosa o, o, otra. o, o, o la otra. ¿Verdad? Ah. O la otra. Ah, ok. Sí. No es que hacen un discurso cantado, no, no. Ah, tiche, teníamos, teníamos dudas en las. En la. De, en esta. Ah, en el matching part. Over es, there. Es, Mahavir, April Fool, the F, correct. Summer is the time when B student have a break from school. Uh, yeah, correct. De hecho, ahorita están en summer los estudiantes en Estados Unidos. Están uh -huh. en break. Valentine's okay. Day, desde la E, la gente se da amor. Ahí está, vendor love. <laughs> Labor Day. Labor Pero Day. Pero en la, en la siguiente en la, la, en la B. En la de las está raíces. correcto. Está correcto, de hecho. Está ah, la correcto. otra. No, no, no. La, otra, la, la, la parte B no tenía que hacer eso. Tenía que usted formular sus propios ejemplos. Ah. Utilizando esa. Porque es que no le llevamos sentido. No le llevamos sentido a nada. Ajá. No, no, tiene, no, no, no. Usted tiene que formular utilizando la, la, el ejemplo. El invierno es la época del año cuando en Santa Tecla si no. All right, so welcome back, everyone. Uh, so can somebody help me match this exercise, if you don't mind, please? Hold on, let me make it a little bit bigger in here. So can somebody help me match this so we can continue with the rest of the class? Please? One volunteer, please. Mr. Edwin, go ahead, please, sir. Okay. New Year's is a night when? 
People have party with family and friends. Let's Correct. see. Correct. Continue. April Fool's Day is a day when mm -hmm. people sometimes play tricks on friends. Uh, yes. Letter e. F. Correct. Continue. Yeah. Summer. Uh, summer is a time when a student have a break from school. That's correct. You know what, Mr. Edwin? Uh, right now it's summer in the United States, and today it is the solstice day. Es el solsticio de, de verano today. It is solstice uh, day. All right, continue. Okay. Valentine's Day is a day when uh, people express their love to someone. Correct. Their e. Yes. All right. Our day is a day when people in many countries are not workers. Yeah, labor day. And also, you know, labor, un comercial aparte, labor es cuando eh, a woman is about to give birth, cuando es un labor, de la, la, la cuestión de parto, okay? Labor de parto, it's labor too, all right? Continue. Okay, teacher. Autumn. Okay, the season when North Americans celebrate Thanksgiving. Yes, correct. And it's on the third uh, Thursday of uh, November, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm mistaken, it's in November. If it's not the last one, it's like the third or other. Um, good. What about the examples over here? Can somebody give me examples about this? Like winter is the season. Yeah, the Santa Tecla example was very good. Unfortunately, uh, uh, it's a reality we live in, okay? But you also have uh, falls, uh, I mean, uh, trees falling down, but you also have in, on, on the positive uh, side is when the farmers cultivate the land to produce crops, okay? Cuando cultivan la tierra también, over there. So in this exercise, what you were supposed to do is to put birthday, birthdays are days when people or family members get together and they uh, uh, eat cake, you can say, all right? That's what you were supposed to do over here. For example, the next one, July and August are the months. For example, July is the month when Santanecos, Santanecas celebrate their festivities or local festivities. August is the month when people in San Salvador celebrate their festivities, okay? That's what you were supposed to do. Now, and people were also telling me a wedding anniversary is a time when uh, you can remember the good and the uh, bad times as a couple or as a family. Nice. Is there any questions about this? Hay alguna consulta para esto? No? If there are no questions, can I have two volunteers? that can help me practice the conversation in front of the class. Two volunteers, please. Me, teacher. Me, Sonia, okay. Who else? Yes. Who else? Miss, who me, else? Me, teacher. All right, Miss Flor, okay. Uh, I'm a star. All right, uh, let me share the screen for you. Hold on. All right, go ahead, please, Miss uh, Sonia. Okay. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures are right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a, at a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually on family, only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a restaurant with family and friends. So what are reception like in Japan? There are big dinner and after the meal, they get gift special or sing song. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then before they get leave the bread and grown give the present. They get the the guests get present. Yes, and they get give money to the bridge and groom. All right, thank you so much, both. Yeah, the bride and the groom. 
they give presents and they get money in return. Es como que compraron los, los regalos, all right? If they bought <laughs> the presents in there, right? Good. Uh, uh, let's see here. Nice. Let's continue with the rest of the uh, the class in here, just to to uh, pay attention to the following thing. All right. So we just cover. Sorry about that. Perdón, listen with grandes. That was too big. We just covered the examples with when. All right. But uh, we just covered this with when, and I'm writing this too much. All right. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to erase this and sorry about it. Nice. So what I'm saying over here, uh, my friends, is that uh, we use when already, okay? And uh, let's see here, all right. Let me erase this because this is not good. Right. Good. Sorry about that. Uh, now we have this example. You see when, when people get married in Japan, what happens? They sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. La tienen en una ermita, en un templo, you know, at a sacred place. You can say that. Uh, or you can also say they, uh, Japanese sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine when they get married, all right? O sea, pueden escribir en ese orden o de la otra forma, the other way around. So it doesn't really matter over there. Okay, good. The next one, after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. So we have the next word, guests, I'm sorry, uh, after, right? After is the other word over there. And the last one, the last one would be, um, before, before the guests leave, be careful, don't confuse those two words. After means después, before means antes. So remember, after the food is served, the guests give a speeches or sing songs. Es decir, que después que hayan servido, es donde dan el discurso, o dan discursos, o cantan canciones, hacen un karaoke. Right? They do a karaoke. Okay, before the guests leave, antes que los invitados se marchen, tienen que dejar, ¿verdad? Regalo de sobre. <laughs> Good, all right? <laughs> so the bride and groom give them presents. Pero aquí es al revés, it's the other way around. La novia y el novio, es decir, los novios le dan regalos. Right? And why do they give away? They give sugar. I mean, they give a uh, presents filled with sweets. O sea, que le dan dulces. Right? Otro patrocinio, chiclines. All right? That's a good one. Another sponsorship. Good. And that's pretty much it. All right? Why do we say a verbal clauses of time? Because this one connects ideas to tell you when something happens. ¿Por qué se llama... Uh, Clausulas o expresiones de, de tiempo adverbiales, porque when, after and before son adverbios y son adverbios de tiempo. Entonces le dicen cuando algo sucede. All right? That's basically it. So let's, let's pay attention to this. What is. Teacher. Yes. I'm sorry. I have a question. Go ahead. And in the last item, uh, we only use when. Yes, in correct. The second part, but mm -hmm. in, in this case, we can use when, after, before, beginning of the first statement, right? Yes, correct. And in the first item, you can use when, after, and before of, of the second part, last connect as connection, or only when. No, actually, actually, Miss uh, Carmen, you can use any adverb. In any, in, any, in any position, all right? In any position, at the beginning, in the middle, uh, it doesn't matter, all right? It's like always, sometimes, okay? It's be, you, have, uh, you have plenty of adverbs, until, before, as soon as, uh, I can give you more examples in there, okay? 
But these are just the three more common ones over there. Okay, the three okay. most common ones. Yes. Take a look at the conversation, Miss Carmen, everybody else. Take a look at here. Here, Emiko, she says, at a shrine, something, right? So where was the ceremony? It was at a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. But you can also say, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine when people get married. Okay? But it sounds better if you say when people get married or when Japanese get married or when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Okay, and then we have the other, we see the other example over here. Um, I'm looking for an example after. Take a look. There is a big dinner and after the meal, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Okay, so I begin this with after, but I can also say the guests give a speeches or sing psalms after the meal. Okay, and if you are using the, the adverb before, you can use a comma at the middle of the sentence. It's only when you write, uh, no, it's when you start. When you start, when you, start you need with the, When you start with, the adverb. with a adverb. Okay. Correct. And, and, and the, the easiest way to understand this, Ms. Carmen, is that if, if the connector is used in the middle, it's like a bridge. You don't need anything else. That's it. All right? Because it's the bridge. It's the link. Okay? But if you start with the, with the connector at the beginning, you will need a comma to make a pause because it's another idea what you need to present in there. All right? Good. Okay. Uh, thank th you. Thanks for asking. Uh, you see the other one in there. We said... Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. But you can also say the bride and groom give them presents, comma. I'm sorry, uh, you say uh, the bride and groom give them presents, no comma, all right, before the guests leave, because that is the bridge, right? Because that is the bridge over there. So in real life, it's better to start with the connector at the beginning, like before they leave. Let me just tell you this, before and after are mostly used at the beginning, but when you can use it at the middle most of the time. All right, good. Like for example, tomorrow, uh, June the 22nd is the day when uh, teachers celebrate uh, their uh, profession, we can say, okay? Good. Is there any questions for me, by the way, so far? Any other question over here? We have here the last thing that we're going to work on. Tenemos la última actividad que la podemos hacer en, en six minutes or less. It says, what do, you, what do you know about wedding customs in North America? ¿Qué saben ustedes de las costumbres, verdad, de las, en las bodas en Estados Unidos? Complete this sentence, says, with the information below. Can somebody help me read that, please, very quickly? Alguien me auxilia leyendo, eh, reading this from one through six, please. Miss Club? Okay. All right, Miss, Miss. All right, let's do something. Miss uh, Elizabeth, help me with the numbers. And Miss Susana Hernandez, help me with the letters, with the answer, like A, B, C, and those ones, okay? Please, thank you. Elizabeth, go ahead, please. Before a man, before a man and woman get married, they usually. Number two, when a couple get and get the men of them. Number three, right after a couple gets and get they usually. Number four, when a woman get married, her family usually. Number five, when guests go to wedding, they are almost always. Number six, right after a couple get married, they usually. Thank you so much. As you are able to see, the ideas are incomplete. Si se fijaron, las ideas están inconclusas. Miss Susana eh, Hernandez, continue, please. Babe. Hey. Days for the wedding and reception. B. Go on a perfect palette a honeymoon. 
Sí. Si the bride and groom are people. Sí. Si the woman and England and queen. Sí. Begin to plan the wedding. F. They eat over for a year or more. All right, thank you so much. I'm sorry, it's raining a lot. So what you have to do is to match the number, okay? The number with the letter. So that's all you have to do, okay? That's all you have to do in there. Once you finish, I'm gonna ask you to come back to the to the main uh, room and I'm gonna give you some announcements. Te voy a mandar a practicar en los breaker rooms the last time. And once you finish, the class will be over, la clase ya habrá finalizado, and I will give you like two announcements. We only have three minutes to do this, all right? Three minutes. Let me send you to the breaker room right now, okay? Go ahead, please. Excuse me. I didn't What we have to do is to match the uh, numbers with the letters in there. Yes, would you send by WhatsApp? Uh, not yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay thank <laughs> yeah, sorry, but I was getting it's a screen. Raining a lot. Yes. I know. Yes. Yes. Um, I was trying to get a screenshot. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll start. Before a man and woman get married, they usually. Sí, sí, lo veo. Okay. It gives to plan the wedding. Sí, se ve. Before a man and woman get married, they usually. Before a man and one and one um, get married, they usually they usually begin to plan the wedding. They're eat. They're eat. Begin to plan the wedding. Number two, when a couple get in case engaged, engaged. Yes. Uh, en engage. 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 Ah, engage. Yes. Engage. No se the man, uh, they give the man letter D. Sir. No. Yeah, we're almost done. Almost. One more minute. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> All right. Thanks for joining. Okay. Mr. Nelson, is it raining over there, sir? Is it raining? Yeah, I see that. Sorry, teacher. Excuse me. Hello. <laughs> who who pays the the, the wind? <laughs> it's raining a lot. I see. Yes, it's, yes, raining it's raining a lot, right? Yes. Right after. 
the, the two, when a couple gets engaged, the men have to face for the reading and perception. Usually. Number three. Mm. Está sí, ahorita. Eh. Numeral y Ajá, anda, ya es que... vale. Entonces sí. dijimos que con el A. Number three. Right after a cookie gets engaged, they usually. Right after. Right after. Uh, right. What is the meaning of right? In the derecho. Aquí tiene otro significado. En la tercera. Uh, right after, inmediatamente después. Right after. Ah, inmediatamente right. después. Inmediatamente después. Ajá. A ah. couple gets engaged. La honeymoon. La B. Después de casarse, ¿qué vamos a La B. No, muy rápido. <risa> Te nos compromete, teacher, con esta pregunta. Por eso que están diciendo de que tanto sabe de la cultura americana. Sí. Okay. Okay. No, uh... no, short trip calling honeymoon. Ya se puede casar. Yes. Hoy sí ya terminamos. Hello. Wow, eh. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Yeah, aquí aquí no acabamos, se... de, acabamos de traumar al compañero, creo ya. Ya se quiere casar, dice. Oh, no, gracias. Voy a salir huyendo. Pobrecito. No, estoy bien así. You're good like that. Okay, good. All right. Yeah. No estaba diciendo eso, pero va. Ah. Ah, Mi Sonia, aplíquele no. la misma de la vez pasada. Diga la verdad, no mienta. ¿Cómo es que le dijo? Sí, a la verdad. Yo huyo a eso. Uh. No huya, no huya. Afronte, hijo. Afronte la realidad. Después, después, mire, después la realidad es esta. Estaban en el carro manejando los dos. Y la mujer pegándole al hombre así en la, nah, en la cabeza para nah, nah. Eso no pasa en las películas, son en las películas ah, falsas. No, acá, ah. ¿Quién dice? Hoy en la tarde estaba viendo un video en Facebook. Ah, no, ah, pero eso ah, lo hacen por de, de chiste. Ficción. Ese de chiste, ¿no? de, de esos que, que suben en, la, en las noticias, que lo ponen. Hello. <risa> Aquí no se gana, pero se goza, ¿verdad? Teacher, ya terminamos, pero es que sabe que donde pasó? César está lloviendo fuerte y no nos oye. Entonces se pone la mano. Yo no escucho nada. No escucho nada. Se está lloviendo bien fuerte. A usted sí se le oye. Mire, hablemos con la P, pues, Saraí. Hablemos con la P. A menos. Menos entiendo eso. No, no para entender. Si así no Armando nos está entendiendo. Pobrecito, ¿verdad? Pero ya, ya terminamos, teacher. No, sí, ya ahorita ya les di ya cancelar ya prácticamente. Ay, no, qué chido. La, mire, lástima que, que todavía nos tenemos que reunir mañana. Sí. No porque era buen día para no terminar. Porque... Mañana a las 8, ¿verdad? All right, so, uh, yes, Miss Claudia, tomorrow at 8 o'clock, but tomorrow it's only 45 minutes. El día de mañana, debido a las grandes tormentas que caen, acuérdense, perdimos 45 minutos, entonces lo tenemos que reponer, pero mañana yo planeo, pienso practicar para hacerle honor, ¿verdad? Al día el teacher. El simple past rhythms and a couple of listenings over there. All right, so don't miss the practice tomorrow and the um, satisfaction survey. Yo sé que nos han puesto mañana para, para amarrarnos, estar en la cuestión de satisfacción de la encuesta que la tenemos que hacer mañana en clases, pero lo que a mí me interesa aparte de eso es la práctica. All right, so have a good night, everyone. It's late already. Ya nos pasamos cinco minutos. All right, see you tomorrow.
Miss Alicia. See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Good night. Good night. Yeah, Miss Alicia, stay, please, if you don't mind. Thank you. I'm trying to work. <laughs> Está en mute. Está en silencio. Ah, ok, sí, sí, sí. Ahí está. Se me quemó el router. ¿En serio? Sí. Híjole, ¿y ahorita le acaba de pasar? No, sin, ahorita estoy con medio de los datos. No, pero se le escucha bien. Se le escucha bien. Vaya, eh, algo que lo pueda auxiliar de este módulo. O de la plataforma. De la plataforma no he terminado la tarea. Bueno, no he terminado las tareas porque hasta ahorita me estoy conectando okay. a internet. Nos falta la 18 y la 19, pero la 18 lo que entendí es de que al verbo le íbamos a poner al ING. Y en la 19 sí, eso sí creo que me podría costar mucho. Ok, y ya hizo el examen final. Ok, si tiene el 80%, no se tiene que preocupar tanto. Ok, se fue la luz. <risa> increíble, qué increíble. No, es que están cayendo unas tormentas de respeto. Sí, ¿Ves? sí. Ahí <risa> otra vez. <risa> dígale, que, dígale que no le paguen la luz. <risa> ya le di <risa> Good, vaya Si gusta revisemos esto para que Usted pueda, ojalá que le alcancen Los datos Este No, si desde el trabajo estoy con Los datos, sí, pero ojalá que, que to... Sí, cabal, que me alcance Para ahora sí. y mañana Sí Vaya, eh, la 18 me dijo Dieciocho, ¿verdad? Sería este. Vaya. Ajá, no, pero eso yo creo que la haría, porque es de poner ING, ¿verdad? Sí, solo que tiene que tener cuidado de qué verbo es el que va a conjugar, porque está bien raro esto. Ajá, y me falta la, la 19, que esta creo que ya la terminé. Ok. Esa es mi plataforma. Es la plataforma, sí. Esto no la pude hacer. Este es el condicional cero. Significa que usted va a poner el verbo acá conjugado en presente de acuerdo al sujeto. Igual que aquí. Lo mismo. Por ejemplo, aquí usted está diciendo si sí, se va la luz, se me va el inter. Eso es lo que uno dice. Si, sí, ahí está como usted ahorita, ¿verdad? Si se va la luz... Se, se, uh, si se va la electricidad, ¿verdad? me quedo sin la clase. Eso, donde hay causa y efecto, cause and effects. Y la estructura es, usted lo hace en presente. Aquí va a decir usted, if I wake up late for work, I'm late for work, ¿verdad? Lo que tiene que tener cuidado es que usted va a reescribir todo. My son, ¿cómo sería esta? Tercera persona del singular en presente. Sería Burns. Burns con ese porque es él, mi hijo. Mi hijo quema la comida si sí, él. Cookie. Burns the no food. Solo food. Ah. Burns the food if mi hijo quema la comida si sí, en la condición if. ¿Y qué? Alone. Sí. Put if the alone. Acu acuérdese que en tercera persona se le agrega la S. Acuérdese. La S a los verbos. A los verbos. Cuando usted habla de ella o de él. ¿All right? En presente. Pero cuando es plural, no. No lo hace así. Por ejemplo, acá. ¿Cuál sería el negativo? Mire. Usted va a poner. Em if employees don't. No comen bien. Don't eat well. ¿Qué le va a pasar, verdad, a los colaboradores que no se cuiden y que coman mal? Se van a deshidratar. 
Sí, o aquí están, ¿verdad? Se van a enfermar. ¿Sí? Aquí. Eh, se la voy a reescribir. Aquí está, miren. They aren't healthy. Aquí está negativo. El verbo to be, they, they are not. They aren't healthy. Así que usted tiene que ser bien cuidadosa o bien minuciosa colocando las S, haciendo eh, los negativos, la, la cosita esa de la comilla, el apóstrofe y todo eso, bien, los puntos, los espacios. Y tiene que reescribir todo. Por ejemplo, la número cuatro, ¿cómo sería? Reescribiéndola toda. If she, tercera persona. Pays. Pays, correct. If she pays her, bill her bills. Time. Exactamente. On time, si paga los recibos. Ajá. Si no paga. Sí, en negativo de ella no. Here. Doesn't. Acuérdese, en presente. Doesn't. Mm. All right. She. Creo que me falta ahí bastante. Sí, esto es un de hecho repaso. Doesn't. Cuando usted niega algo en presente. Tendría que usted repasar cómo lo niega diciendo yo, usted, él y ella. Eso tiene que repasar usted el presente simple. ¿Ok? El presente simple. Yo lo, lo que le recomendaría es, cuando tenga, yo sé que no tenemos tiempo, pero ponga en YouTube eh, reglas del presente simple o ejemplos del presente simple, videos. Y ahí le van a aparecer. ¿Ok? Ok. She doesn't... Uh, Have to pay. Have to pay extra money. No tiene que pagar multa. Si usted paga los recibos a tiempo, no pagamos multa. Eso es lo que estamos diciendo ahí. ¿Cuál es la condición? Pagar a tiempo. Y aquí creo que ya se va a ir la luz. Acaba de pispilear. Pero ya cumplimos las dos horas y, y, y diez minutos, así que no me aflige. Ok. Eh, vaya, la última, ¿cómo sería? Si sus ingresos... If the incomes, en present, if the incomes are, si los ingresos son buenos, ok, coma, ¿qué Sorry. pasaría? Uh, B sería R. Lo que pasa es que estamos hablando de plural, ¿verdad? Incomes, mm. ingresos. Si solamente fuera uno sería is, is good. Ok. Como que yo le diga, ah, this is a good cell phone. It's, it's a good cell phone. It is. Si tuviera dos celulares, le dijera, ah, these cell phones are good. Son. Ok, aquí estoy diciendo, si los ingresos son buenos, son favorables, ¿qué pasa? El empleado, an employee. ¿Qué pasa con el empleado? Employee receive. Receives, receive. correct, con S. Receives. Se lleva el bono. Okay. Yes. Correct, receives the bonus. Entonces vamos a revisar acá. Y le vamos a dar enviar. Para que usted mire. Me puede salir mal la más de alguna por la cuestión de las comas. Eh, aquí mire, se me olvidó. Quiero ver, an employee receives. No la completé, ¿ves? ¿eh? Se fijó, no le puse a bonus. Igual aquí, mire, my son burns the food y he cooks alone. ¿Qué me faltó aquí? El punto final. Aquí es bien cuidadoso. Entonces, cualquier cosa puede salir mal en este ejercicio, Miss Elizabeth. O no le pone la S, o el negativo, la comilla se la pone muy separada, o hace sin mayúscula la, para comenzar el if, o al final no le ponemos puntos. Entonces, no es complicada la gramática, pero en esta plataforma nos complican la vida. ¿Ok? <ríe> Eso pasa. Eh, so, mire, ahí está, mire, ya me lo aceptó. Entonces, cuando usted lo haga, lo que le recomiendo es revise los signos de puntuación, mayúsculas, minúsculas, negativos, terceras personas y escriba completamente las dos ideas. Aquí, ¿verdad? Si yo me levanto tarde, llego tarde al trabajo. Okay. Entonces aquí okay. sería, if I wake up late, coma, I've, 
sorry, I am late for work. Acuérdense que en presente el verbo to be solamente lo va a conjugar de I am, you are, he is. ¿Ok? Y el presente de cualquier verbo, que usted diga eat, eh, cook. Si yo digo I cook breakfast every day, yo cocino el desayuno o hago el desayuno todos los días, voy a decir I cook. Si yo me refiero a usted, voy a decir Miss Elizabeth cooks breakfast. Si usted, si usted dice mi esposo no cocina nada, <ríe> all right. Usted dice, my husband doesn't, right? Doesn't. Y se lo, se lo voy a escribir por acá. Vamos a ver dónde está. Aquí está, mire. Eh, aquí está, el doesn't. ¿Alcanza a ver? Está el negativo. Sí. Ok, dice, si, si ella paga los recibos a tiempo, ella no tiene, she doesn't have to pay extra money. All right? Good. Sí. You're welcome. Bueno, se nos acabó el tiempo, de hecho. Eh, pero si tiene dudas en el anterior de los ING, yo creo que sí le va a tener un par de dudas por ahí. Me escribe, trate de hacerlo y si le falla algo, dígame, yo se lo, le mando esto de, de muestra para que usted compare y diga, ah, es que esto me estaba fallando. Right. Okay. Okay. Voy a ver ahorita porque tal vez me ha ajustado bien. Right. Entonces se lo voy a mandar de una sola vez para que usted lo tenga ahí. Hágalo por su propia cuenta y si al final no puede, ya sí, ahí tiene que verla. <ríe> you can see the answers over there. Okay. Right. Nice. Eh, right. Was... Hold on, let me just look for your phone number over here. Eh, ¿Cuál es su terminación, Miss Elizabeth? Usted escribió hoy de, de WhatsApp. Aquí está usted, Elizabeth. Uh, sí. 5950, right? Sí. 5950, okay. I just sent that to you already. Ya le mandé eso. Ahí está. All right? Okay. Good. So have a good night. Hope to see good you night, tomorrow. Sir. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.